Hello friends, welcome back. This video is full stack development video series and we are building online course enrollment application. This is episode 7. We are building Angular application step by step and in this video we will be seeing how we will implement the service in Angular 18 and also integrate the nginx spinner and toaster for, for smooth UX. So a lot of stuff we are going to learn and this is Angular 18 standalone application. So come, let's get started. So this video is the continuation of episode 6. So in this video, let's dive into the 7th concept. So first thing we have to install certain packages. Go to this terminal and say npm install ngx spinner. So this will bring up the ngx spinner package. This package we are going to use to automatically show the spinner whenever the outgoing calls are going. The next package that we want is ngx toaster. This is to show a nice uh, pop-up message on the top or anywhere in the screen okay so whenever we have to show some nice stuff we can use that nginx toaster so you can see these two packages added in the package.json next the thing is go to this angular.json and add the css of these two packages so that the respective nice ui will come into picture okay because we have to use their own css to bring up the nice ui so under the architecture under the um, you know styles we are going to add Two CSS. One is for the NGX toaster, one is for the NGX spinner. So I have already copied that what to add. These are the two files. One is for toaster, one is for the spinner. Okay. So after this, generally what you do, you stop the server and start the server again because anything that you add in the Angular.json will not be picked up. So in order for us to get the latest CSS, we need to stop the server and start the server. Right. So let's jump back to what we were doing. So under the core, under the course, like we were building a lot of components, right? So what we are going to do is we already use the mock data for category, for course, for course details. We were using mock data. Now we are going to use the real time data uh, served from the web API. So I created a folder called services. Under services, I'm going to create a new file called category.service.ts. Okay. So any service will end with service.ts and category is the name that I've given. So I used a dash service. You see this nice whole stuff came, right? So the whole stuff came and we are going to uh, rename this service. So basically it is a class that is exported and injectable. Okay. So you see it is marked as injectable. So I named this as category services. Okay, so we have a class called category service that is injectable at root, which means anywhere within the application can be injected. That's what it means. So I have a property like a variable called, um, you know, base URL, and I can actually put the base URL, like for example, wherever the API is hosted, that domain URL, I can give that as a base URL. However, our application needs to be robust that based on where we deploy, it has to automatically change. So the good way of doing us we already have this uh, configuration interface. So in this interface, if you see, there's something called API URL, right? So we will take it from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this and then take the base URL from the environment.ts file. So this way, based on wherever we deploy, the right URL will be taken automatically. So I'm using a backtick, okay? That's not single quote. It's called backtick just right above the tab on your keyboard. Use the backtick and then you can say dollar symbol open the uh, parenthesis like the bracket. Within that you can evaluate any variable. So environment dot API URL and then slash the controller name. So that will become my base URL. Okay. Right now if you see nine number two, the environment file has been taken from a incorrect place. We don't want to take it from the prod. All what we have to do is we should always take it from the environment.ts file because in the runtime, I mean, like when we do a build, it will be replaced automatically with the right environment file. Now in the constructor, we need to inject a service called HTTP client. So we will make a private HTTP colon of type as HTTP client. And then we are going to build one small uh, function that will call the API. So get categories is the function name and that is returning observable of course category array. So this API is returning course category array. Okay. We already saw the APIs. So we know what is the return type. So that's why we put that as a observable of course category array. Don't put any 
always try to put whatever is coming okay so now this dot http dot get and then we are casting the incoming like the the data that is coming from the api we're casting it to course category array and then in the in the in the parenthesis you just need to pass the url so i pass the url the method is done so there are a few more things that we need to do let's say for example if i go to um, app.config we need to do something here but before that let's see why we have to do this so i'm going to run the project and see what happens okay so now let's go to the category component so if you look at this i we, we were using the mock data right so we don't want mock data instead in the constructor we will inject the course category um, like the category service so private category service of type category service that's what i just wrote so we injected the service so we will create a function here called get categories and this category function will actually call the service function so this dot category service dot get categories there is no parameter that we need to pass important thing is dot subscribe this is an observable content which means you just subscribe to it once the the data is returned automatically the code block within the subscribe will be executed that's the whole idea of this service calling okay so we know what is the subscribe subscribe is basically like we are subscribing to the calling function and then we just uh, execute uh, whichever is inside the subscribe uh, logic after the data comes so we are assigning it back to the categories thing you see this um, all right so i ran the project the application is running but you can see some error is coming basically it says hey you're using a uh, http client like you're injecting some servers but i don't find that module right anytime you use http client you need to configure the http client module anyone who has used ng model based concept like angular 16 and below there is something called in a uh, http client module you will import in the ng module but here in angular 18 in standalone you need to go to this app.config.ts and you need to put that you need to provide that dependency injection that i just showed you only then the http client module will be loaded okay see now the data the real data is coming actually from the running locally running endpoint okay you can point it to my uh, deployed endpoint or if you are a full stack developer you are learning the whole series run your uh, web API project in a local and then this will automatically will work now similarly i just created course.service.ts it's basically course service right so another service that is calling the course controller so we have same setup here in this case i have four different uh, get endpoints one is like we pass the category id get all the data of the courses we we pass a particular detail and the course id we get the detail and then we don't pass anything just get all the courses like four different stuff everything is get it's all same okay if you know one you should be able to do everything else now after this what we will do is we will have to integrate this concept into browse course component so in browse course component also we used mock data so we will inject the course service and then call the uh, you know respective service whenever the category ids are changed so we will not use this mock data anymore we will always rely on the live information so i'm going to remove this instead this dot course service dot get all course not get all course get course by category id i need to pass the category id in this case the category id is this dot category id and then subscribe to it i will write something inside the function so here we are just assigning the data that's coming from the service back to the course uh, variable that's it we were able to do the complete from mock to the real service so i cleaned up this we don't need that in the constructor everything will work we're going to test the ui we're going to test the ui quickly here is the ui i am on the main screen this get category came and see live data came if i go inside this we have to fix that but if you look at uh, the categories if you browse a different category different data is coming because it's actually calling the endpoints right so we were able to achieve these two things okay so now the next part is we will add the ngx spinner and the uh, toaster thing so let's go under the service what we are going to do is we are going to create a new file for our um, spinner thing so for spinner right what the idea behind this is 
any uh, there is something called http interceptor it will intercept all the http calls that's going from your application so idea behind this file is we are going to create a spinner interceptor which is nothing but the http interceptor this interceptor will intercept every single call that goes outside so a dash http so this actually brings up a piece of code we saw in the previous video um, the extension that we are using right angular snippet extension so this is the class this is the class i named it as http request interceptor it implements the http interceptor so this one whatever i'm highlighting is what we have to implement okay so the idea behind this is whenever there's a call going outside this class will come into picture okay so here whenever we intercept a request we show a dosa message we show the uh, nginx spinner automatically and when the calls are finished we will close everything that's the whole idea okay so i'm going to bring up two things in the constructor so let's go one by one okay whatever you saw it's okay we don't need that the very first thing that we have to do is we need to first uh, configure the nginx spinner and the toast configuration okay so in the app config.ts so we have to do that first then we'll come back and write the constructor here okay so let's go to the um app.config.ts okay so here pay attention here we need to do some configuration to support these two um modules so after the provide http client i am copy pasting a piece of uh, thing which is similar to what you do in ng module so provider is http interceptor and then the use class is nothing but our class okay so that we have configured we are saying hey go through this pipeline this is the interceptor just go through it always okay so the calls if you don't configure it that class will never get hit after that in the under after the import provide forms you have to provide the configure the nginx spinner module and the toaster module so this nginx spinner module is coming from the nginx package sometimes it doesn't show from where this is coming you need to manually do an import statement which i'm going to do okay so i'm going to use the manual import statement of this nginx spinner module and toaster module see the error went away now similarly uh, according to eight, line number 18 we will add another line that's for toaster the co the code that i put is we are configuring the toast module and we are doing some default setting we are saying it has to show only for 3 seconds in the top right okay and prevent the duplicates there are configurations we also show we are we also have to use the browser module and browser animation module so that this two packages that they rely on these two will automatically uh, you know work okay so after we configure all of these things that's it the configurations are done okay um so for us to proceed further let's go back to the interceptor so we went back to interceptor here let's inject those two things in the constructor so in the constructor we're going to inject ngx spinner ngx toaster okay toaster service and spinner service so constructor open the um, you know parenthesis and then say private spinner which is ngx spinner okay inject spinner service you have to inject the service comma you need to also uh, inject the toaster service okay so we have kept a name toaster service and then just open the uh, bracket so it's a continuous thing right so once the constructor is done i'm going to copy paste a piece of code and i'll explain you it's very easy so here okay we will first initiate the spinner spinner dot show we will just start showing the spinner okay and we will tell you where to put the spinner okay so this is the code behind logic that we need to put as soon as this interceptor is hit with any outgoing calls we will start the spinner we'll show the spinner and i'll show you when to hide the spinner so now we copy paste this piece of logic basically we are using some rsjs operators uh like map catch error finalize right so we are going we are going to use a pipe symbol and go through the calls whenever the call is going and coming like coming back if the response is coming back we show a toast message call request successful if it get into an catch block which means there was an error so we show a toast to that it's an error in the finalize method right try catch finalize method we will stop the spinner at any cost whether it is success or failure we have to stop the spinner which was started showing up now where do you put the spinner go to this home component or like actually we should go to the app component 
where the router outlet is present say we are putting the spinner at a very apparent level because we don't want to put this at like each component level and show we want everything to wire up automatically so we put that component spinner there and then we also import the nginx spinner component in the import statement of the app dot component right so after we do see this already started working so whenever i go and you know go make a call so you see this there was a spinner just coming and going because the api was very fast you are not able to see the spinner see it just came and went and then you can also see the toaster in the top right right so you can go to all of these things it's coming right i can even uh, you know put a breakpoint to the back end like this and show quickly uh, see i put a breakpoint to just show you that actually it is spinning because this is uh, you know in a debug mode i'm able to make the response delayed but if you execute this whenever the calls are going and if the aps are taking time you will start seeing the spinner coming up you would have seen it in the, you would have seen it in my real website but that's how you configure these two all right so now i will leave you uh, the rest of the work the course detail work is already i have kept it but i want you guys to try Uh, change the mock details of the course uh, page like whatever you learned uh, in the previous video right um you can use it here as well so i will leave it to you this way all what you have to do in this in this video is after you do all of these things go to the course detail and actually inject the course servers that i'm doing and practice by yourself that you are able to call the course detail uh, data instead of the mock data and do everything okay so here what we are doing here is we basically i'm adding the same thing i'm injecting a course servers and then making a function the function is calling the course endpoint like this dot course servers dot get course detail and then pass the course id it will get you back the data see that is what i'm doing so whatever we saw in the initial category and the course browse course is the same um so you'll be able to get the uh, real data so i'm going to put this course id here which is enough number type initialize with zero it's okay so now this we will remove this dot course we will assign this course id here we are using the course id everything looks good see there is nothing else i changed so practice this course detail by yourself do i have given you the code basically you are injecting the service calling the service passing the course id get the data that's it the real time data Now, whatever you saw that I just copy pasted. Basically, uh, just to preserve the space on the UI, like for example, let's remove this. Let's we don't want this. So let's go inside this. You see this this data just to preserve the space between each paragraph for text. I kept that code, but everything else is working. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. There are more interesting videos coming in Angular to make a full full stack development series. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!